months after BLM race baiter tried to stop Dixie Stampede, Dolly delivers nasty surprise. Last summer, a Black Lives Matter activist named Aisha Harris tried to ruin Dolly Parton for good. Harris traveled to Dolly's Dixie Stampede with one goal in mind, she wanted to accuse Parton of being a racist so the country music legend would have to shut down her theme parks. Parton is a true patriot who loves America, and after Harris took her best shot with a scathing article and campaign to destroy Dixie Stampede, Dolly just gave her a nasty surprise. Last August, Mad World News first reported on Aisha Harris, the Black Lives Matter activist who set her sights on Dolly Parton. In case you missed this blatant Trey Spader's big case against Dolly's Dixie Stampede, let's recap what happened last summer. Harris makes no excuses for her racist agenda. Her social media accounts are strewn with references to white privilege, and she is out to obliterate anything that has to do with the Old South. So, she targeted Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede, which is a lighthearted take on the rivalry between the North and the South, and it's loved by many Americans who attend the show regardless of race. Harris came out with a scathing hit piece in Slate magazine titled, Springtime for the Confederacy in which she wrote, at Dolly Parton's Civil War-themed dinner theater, there's violence on many sides. Harris thought she had struck gold when she learned the dinner show has two sides and each guest picks to sit with the North or the South. Harris was hoping the Southern side would be a bunch of redneck white supremacists. When that didn't happen and she was shocked to see African Americans sitting with the South, the only thing she could find to prove Dolly is a racist harboring white supremacist tendencies, was the placards to the restrooms. And, no, that's not a joke. The Northerners' placard was of dark wood, while the Southerners' was of light wood, and yep, Harris really thought she got Dolly there. Talk about ridiculous. Harris wrote about the horrendous moment she discovered this blatant racism. I did at least have time to run to the bathroom, a necessity after three and a half hours of sucking down lemonade by the bootful, she recalled. This seemed like it could be a nice break, but when I got there, I stumbled upon this, Southerners only on a light-colored placard and Northerners only on a dark-colored placard. This was, at best, horrifyingly, and, tone-deaf. Now, that was all about five months ago, but in those five months, Harris Seago has expanded. She identifies herself as the Black Lives Matter activist who came to Pigeon Forge with an agenda referring to one of Dolly's two theme parks. While one is located in Pigeon Forge in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, the other is found in Branson, Missouri. In recent years, we have all witnessed the horrendous dismantling of Civil War monuments, and Harris was hoping to ride that wave of destroying American history to destroy Dolly Parton. Well, after months of pressure on the country icon from these BLM idiots who want to wipe out any iota of anything to do with the South. Dolly's business partners wanted her to do away with her Dixie Stampede. Dolly is a true Southern belle who takes pride in her roots, as do most Americans who come from the heart of Dixie. So, Dolly outsmarted them all and made sure the Dixie Stampede would remain the same. All she did was change the name to Dolly Parton Stampede, but the entire show, including the rivalry between North and South, which ends in a spectacular final song called Color Me America that brings all Americans together, is staying the same. That also includes the offensive bathroom placards. Harris thought she won the war against Dolly and the bad, bad Southerners. Then, she realized the award-winning country singer really didn't do a darn thing but change the name. And as they say, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Call it what you want, it's still all about Dixie. What a nasty surprise for poor Aisha Harris. Reporting on the name change, a perplexed Harris writes, but what about the performance itself? The release doesn't mention any changes to the actual script, or the Southerners only slash Northerners only bathrooms, and as of now, the site still promotes that friendly and fun North versus South rivalry. That's right, Harris may have put pressure on Dolly's business partners, but in the end, it's clear the beloved daughter of the South refused to betray her roots, which run deep in the Smoky Mountains. So, feel free to wave Confederate flags at Dollywood, and if you really wanted to piss off the Black Lives Matter racists, sit on the side of Old Dixie, Old Dixie.